hi my loves welcome back to the stars cartel channel if you don't know this is star if you cannot tell by my voice y'all i had lost my voice for a couple days and um i was just like you know trying to heal trying to get myself back together thank you so much to everybody that donated to me i love you guys so much and um yeah let's get into it um i have been taking medicine okay my mother made sure i had some medicine okay but anyways let's get into the message the message i heard is you have to have the best the scripture comes from Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters threaten my life. I am sunk in the abysmal swamp where there is no foothold. I have reached the watery depths. The flood overwhelms me. I am weary with calling. My throat is parched. My eyes have filled with looking for my God. Those outnumber the hairs of my head who hate me without cause. Too many for my strength are they who wrongfully are my enemies. Must I restore what I did not steal? Okay, so here's the message for someone. Um, I feel like God has been blessing somebody like somebody you have been blessed tremendously and God is just constantly pouring you with blessings because he wants you to have the best. And there is someone who you may not have done anything to them um, intentionally. You have not done anything, but they are angry with you because of what you have received from God. And it's just, um, I just feel like you're confused because you don't, it's nothing. You didn't steal anything. You didn't do anything wrong. And it's like, you can't be faulted or, uh, it's just, it's not right for them to mistreat you just because you are receiving blessings from God. Um, and that's just how I feel. Like, I just feel like God is saying that he is going to ensure that you have the best regardless. He's not going to ask permission to bless his children. And I'm pretty sure whomever this person is, they receive blessings too. But it's just different, you know. So I'm going to pause right here because I caught something at the end of the scripture when I was going over um, the video, like editing the video. Uh, for some of you, you may be put in a position where someone is trying to tell you that you need to give them the blessing that God gave to you because they feel like it should be theirs. Or maybe they feel like you should share it or they feel like it shouldn't just be for you or whatever it is. You know, it's just like it's a situation where someone may be trying to steal this blessing from you. But God is saying, no, that blessing is for you and the blessings that he will give to them that will be for them, you know. And it's just simply not fair, you know, when God uh, decides that he is going to bless us, he is going to bless us regardless to what, you know, um, anyone else may feel about it. You know, I just feel like God is saying that this is between you and him and he decided that he is going to bless you with this. And it doesn't matter how anybody feel about it. You are going to receive what he has for you. And it doesn't mean he don't love them. It don't mean he don't have blessings for them. It means that this one is joy. I hear God saying back up off of this one because this one is yours they go get theirs and you go get yours you know and <clears throat> I just feel like that's fair you know um it might even be a situation where there is something that you are receiving and maybe someone else has wanted this for a while so they are looking at it and they feel like you're stealing it from them god says you're not stealing anything from them this is a blessing that he has been having for you for a while and it may look from the outside looking in it may look like you just popped up on the scene and all of a sudden you got this blessing real quick and for some of you that may be true but for some of you i feel like you've been waiting on this blessing for longer than this person has been waiting on theirs but they don't know maybe you keep to yourself maybe you quiet you know i was just watching a video this morning about how um the subject was why is it when black women are introverted and quiet that they are always under attack <clears throat> and i just feel like for somebody just because you are not um screaming to the mountaintops that you're waiting on this you're waiting on this just because you're not crying every day and you're not um you can gracefully wait 
You have been waiting with grace. You have been waiting with class. You have been waiting with a smile on your face. You have been very faithful. You have been very patient with God. Some of you, you've been patient for years. Nobody knew how in distress you were internally, but you, you just didn't allow your situation to get to you. So it's not fair for someone to say, well, I've been waiting longer when they don't really know how long you've been waiting on this here. They don't know how many nights you cried about this here. They don't know how hard you had to fight for this here. And now God is blessing you with it and it is yours. You don't have to share it with nobody. You don't have to give it away to nobody. God said it belongs to you and you only. And that's that. I remember I had a friend and um, we both received gifts around the same time. I think um, it may have been Valentine's or something like that. And what she got was some brand new J's, live J's just came out. And what I got was a brand new purse. OK, <laughs> and um, she was just telling me. I wish my man would have got me a purse. I would rather have a purse than to just have some shoes. I don't even really like these shoes. But then I sat back and thought about it. She was the kind of girl, she don't really carry a purse. And you would more so see her in some new live tennis shoes than you would see her carrying a purse. I'm the kind of girl, I barely wear tennis shoes. I wear heels, I wear sandals. I don't really um, wear tennis shoes like that. So it would make sense that, no, like, why would someone and buy me tennis shoes when I don't wear them and you know it's kind of like same thing why would somebody buy her a purse when she doesn't wear them God is saying that um, for whatever reason someone is looking at the blessings that you have been receiving and they feel like it's not fair and they feel like um, it's not right that you're receiving these things they're feeling as though you have taken something from them regardless if they think like they have this um, idealistic way of thinking that they should be able to receive whatever you receive because um, maybe they feel like they are um, they have done uh, they're doing right maybe they feel like they're trying to be right with God or whatever it is they feel like they should receive the same things that you are receiving but God is saying that he is looking at what is needed what is wanted and what is unnecessary and there are things that you will receive that in that person's life and whatever their journey is, it is unnecessary for them. However, it is necessary for you. This is something that you need. This is something that you want. This is something that you will use. And, you know, it's just like, I just feel like that's what God is saying with this situation. Um, it might even be where they feel like it's really nice. Whatever it is that you have is very nice. Like, you know, the purse I had was a name brand purse and the shoes she had were name brand shoes, but it doesn't mean that one is better than the other. God is saying that he will bless all of his children with things that they love, with things that they want and things that they need. But, um, However, that does not mean that it is okay. You know, when we compare and contrast ourselves to other people, that is where problems start out of nothing. You know, um, you may feel like you're experiencing someone hating you and they're hating you for having something that they don't even want. And, you know, I just feel like God is saying, don't pay them no mind because it makes no sense. Don't pay them no mind because there's no logic. And, you know, that's exactly what I saw about Fred. Why would he buy you a purse and you don't wear purses? Like, where is the logic? What sense does that make? Okay, <laughs> okay y'all. I, I Like, it has been hard. Like, I've been wanting to make videos, but my voice, like, my throat has been hurting so bad. Even right now, I'm struggling to make this video, but I just... Okay, but that's the message. God is saying that just because he blesses someone else with something that you don't have doesn't mean that he will not bless you with something that you need, something that you want. God ensures that all of his children receives what they need. And um, yeah, you know, there's no need to be having any kind of uh, spats about it or arguments about it or to dislike someone just because they have something that you don't is that right oh okay that's the message y'all i'm gonna try to make another video for today but i don't know if we gonna be able to do it i'm just so sick i love you guys so much and um apparently i was not having allergies okay your girl was sick but it was just coming up slowly but for surely okay i love you guys and i'll see you guys later deuces